you have old home movies like these and you're looking to get them digitized and you don't know whether to use a company or to buy a DIY machine. I'm Phil Thomas from Got Memories and we're gonna show you right now the difference between the two. Wanna organize and digitize your memories? I'll show you the best tips, tricks and secrets to make that happen. Let's dive in. Okay, so these are the uh, DIY models that you'll see available on Amazon or eBay. They run three to four hundred dollars each. Over here we have a Tobin Cinema System uh, piece of equipment and this is what we use here. Now, one thing to note with professional companies, you must see video on how they're transferring film because a lot of them are just using these types of equipment here. But we are gonna show you a side-by-side -side comparison of the output quality and also, and importantly, the speed. Okay, real quick point of reference. This is a 1980s, early 80s UMIG projector. Now this is how people typically, you know, you visualize a projector and how easy it is to run. Literally, you run it through and then it will hopefully come out the other end. Here we go. And that's it. That is the process right there. That's the speed. That's how easy a typical projector is. So this is the process for the Wolverine. You turn it on. Now make sure you've got these three inch reels and everything's on the outside here. And the tricky thing with this, unlike the projector I just showed you, is the looping process. So this is regular eight film, so you move it over here. And then you gotta give it a bit of room here. Kind of loop it through like that and then we hit enter super 8 film and then we get going on it please wait again this is like real time this is what typical people are going to be putting up with with this piece of equipment here and it doesn't want to work <laughs> As you can see, the speed is extremely slow. With a regular projector, you run in 16 to 18 frames per second, whether it is Super 8 or regular 8 film. Uh, with this, it is one frame per second. So here we've been going for about 30 seconds now, and we haven't even got through the leader tape. Um, and one thing to talk about also is prepping the film. So if you haven't gone through these reels and they got breaks or burns, which is very typical with old film where they've been stuck in um, old projectors and kind of mistreated over the years, if these sprocket holes aren't perfect, this thing is gonna hang up. Here we go, so this is the beginning of the film. You can see each frame going through and that's pretty much that. And yeah, so. Very slow and you literally one of these reels has about 3,000 images on it and based on calculations you're looking round about 50 minutes to transfer a three minute reel of film so if you have like many people lots and lots of these reels this can get very timely okay one thing to note as well is the rewinding process is also pretty slow so we're gonna go to Rewind and hit enter and there we go. Okay, so gonna turn on our equipment here. This is how we transfer the film here at Got Memories. So you just load the reel up and it'll just grab it in here like so. And you're off and running. The image is immediately there. And loading it is very easy also. So, take up reel. This is all industrial strength stuff. These have got claws in them, so they grab hold of the reel. You don't have to twist things around. It's just going and recording. And that's this, very straightforward. And also, the massive thing here is the speed. You can see this, 18 frames per second. This is one frame per second on the uh, Wolverine. So this reel is three minutes, 10 seconds usually on Super 8. And this is gonna take literally three minutes and 10 seconds. Add maybe another five seconds to load it. 
and the whole reel will rewind in about five seconds. It's very quick and so literally the whole process is done in about four minutes per reel and that's over exaggerating on the time versus the Wolverine is gonna take you an easily 50 minutes and let's just call it an hour once you've gone through a few other prep bits. Um, there's no comparison whatsoever. Opening the gate here, one feature to note, cool LED light source, super bright, cold to the touch, safe with the film, unlike projectors from yesteryear with bulbs that'll literally singe your hand off if you get anywhere near it. Okay, so the reel has ended. I'm gonna show you how quickly this is to rewind. So you just get the film and you loop it through again right here, get the tension and you hit the rewind button. And that's it right there, seconds. So here we have our equipment versus the Wolverines. Now a couple of points to make. Number one, as you've seen, this is a very, very slow process and you're still spending three to $400, which honestly, most of our transfers, 90% of them fit within that category. And we do it all and it just comes on a thumb drive. You plug it in your laptop, you're away, put it up on the cloud, edit and share with friends and family. Very easy. And also it's gonna be better quality. These films are very old and can be very brittle. So if you are now gonna guinea pig on one of these machines and they break or anything goes wrong, you only have one copy of these films. So something to remember there. If you'd like to get a quote for us to transfer it, we've got a link below and you can go to our website, fill out a quote form and if it looks good, it's a very straightforward process to get it to us, get it transferred and we can deliver on DVD, on a thumb drive, or we can deliver it via the cloud as well. Thank you again, my name's Phil Thomas. Happy memories.